Hi, this is Tim, and this week's question actually stems from our video last week about how to wire a voltage signal to an analog input. And the question was, if you don't have a 10 volt power source such as this drive has, then how would you wire your 10K potentiometer to an analog input? So in our case, we have 24 volt power on this trainer. So if we just hook the potentiometer directly up to our analog gauge, it does work. But instead of 0 to 10, we're going to be 0 to, well, 23.9 volt. So what we need to do is we need to cut that voltage down. And we do that by using a voltage divider. So here's a voltage divider calculator. And here is the equation that we're going to use to figure out this voltage divider. And also here's a sketch right here of exactly what we're going to do. So we have our source voltage, which is 24 volt. And then we're going to add a resistor here, R1 we'll call it. And then, in our case, R2 is going to be our 5K potentiometer here. And then we have a desired output voltage that we want of 10 volt there. So we can enter our 24 for our source voltage, and then we know R2 in this case. So this is important that you know where to plug it in. So if you're looking at this circuit, we know we want 10 volt across this potentiometer. So R2 is going to be 5,000 ohms, or 5K. And then we will have a desired output voltage of 10 volt. We can hit the calculate button, and there we see we need 7,000 ohms, or a 7K resistor. Alright, so I was going to hide it, but I don't have a 7K resistor handy. So I had to make one. And if you really want to get in the weeds with me about voltage dividers, then put it down in the comments and I'll explain to you exactly what this is. But mainly, if we take our ohm meter and we touch it to one, one lead to one side, the other lead to the other side, there you go, we have 7K. So here is our 7K resistor. So this is our R1 resistor, and I have our two wires right here. So I will wrap this wire around one side of our 7K resistor. And that's our 24 volt power, and the other is going to our potentiometer. Again, we did this in the last video. I'll put a link to the description of exactly how the rest of the wiring goes. There you go. Now we're showing 9.9 .9 volt as the max of our potentiometer. As we dial back, you can see it drops down all the way down to zero. So that is how you would wire a 5K potentiometer when you have a 24 volt power supply. So instead of taking the 24 volt across the two outside terminals, your plus 24 would go through that 7K resistor and then to the potentiometer. And that'll give you 10 volt. Now there's only for a 5K potentiometer. Let's say that you had a 10K potentiometer, then the value will be different of that resistance that you need. Hope this video has been helpful. Uh, this is our new question and answer session that we're trying to do once a week, so be sure to ask lots of questions and we'll do our best to answer them. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.